Hello everyone and welcome back to The Beatles Forever. A viewer suggested that I make a video of John Lennon and his diets. It sounded like a good idea, so we'll, we're going to find out what we can about the diets that John Lennon had over the years. Um, I couldn't find as much information as I wanted to, but I, d I had done an earlier video about John and a possible eating disorder, but reading different sources, it's hard to say if he had one or not, so I didn't bring that up in the video. But let us start with the early days. John Lennon was born in the during World War II, like in 1940, and after the war there was rations on food in England. Cream and other items were hard to come by, so John enjoyed heavy cream and cornflakes. It was luxury food for him. So all of the Beatles, uh, being from Liverpool, enjoyed fish and chips. Uh, the fish was cod, and the chips were French fries, and they were fried up and seasoned with salt and vinegar and wrapped on in newspaper. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. And according to Soy Yummy, uh, SoYummy.com in 1964, an interviewer asked Ringo Starr what the band members like to eat on behalf of the hundreds of fans who begged a radio station to find out. Well, Starr said, we eat steak usually if we go out. Steak and chips and egg and chips, beans, bacon, chicken. The meat-heavy diet didn't go on too much longer, though. Uh, George Harrison was the first Beatle to go vegetarian in 1965, although he loosened his rules later, followed by uh, Paul McCartney and Starr and sometimes John Lennon. Of uh, being English boys, they loved their tea. According to the uh, 1965 Playboy article, they always had pots of tea backstage. Plus, in many photos, the band took time to enjoy a brew no matter where they were, even at the North London Recording Studio, Abbey Road. And John would drink like 20 to 30 cups of tea or coffee a day. So that's a lot of tea or coffee. <laughs> John stated that he loved curry and jelly, and although Lennon and his second wife, Yoko Ono, sometimes went on fad diets, he couldn't resist curry. For example, according to one radio interview, Lennon finished up a 10-day rice-only diet with a curry and a milkshake. He said it was like having every drug he ever touched. So in the early days, the Beatles were also known to eat chicken while they were on stage. <laughs> so that's something. Okay, this part here, John was called the Fat Beetle in 1965, and the excesses of Beatlemania began to wear on John by 1965, the help era, after a year of constant touring and performing. He dined in expensive restaurants and shoveled junk food in between the chaos. And some journalists wrote that he was the fat beetle, and that did him in. Noticing that he put on a spare tire, he began the effort of losing weight at the same time he was getting into drugs. So May Peng and uh, Yoko said that John was not bulimic. So May, she lived with John for 18 months between 1973 to 1975, and she said, during my whole relationship with John, who weighed about 155 pounds, he was never bulimic. In fact, he loved having a full English breakfast, including black pudding, which I made most Sundays when we were home in New York. When we were away, he loved having his blueberry pancakes, and walls and bridges was made on Whoppers and pizza. His favorite soup was Chinese hot and sour soup, and this is all evident in my book of photographs I took of John called Inst Instamatic Karma, released in 2008. And then she said he ate normal meals, uh, soups, Thai food, regular English breakfast with eggs and sausage. He gained weight and looked good at the time. At the time of Bob Gruen's famous 1974 New York City t-shirt photograph, looking healthier than ever. And then um, Yoko first got together with John in 1968. She was said to have made the effort to get him off junk food and convert him to the restricted microbiotic diet. And by the time he recorded Imagine album in 1971, he was lean but appeared healthy. But the drinking and the depression that followed in 72 and 73 took a heavy toll, and by mind games, he was very thin. So John went back to the Dakota and Yoko in January of 75 after uh, their separation ended, and he reinstated the highly restrictive mi microbiotic diet and losing weight pretty quickly. And Fred Seaman, who was a personal uh, assistant for John and a companion from 1979, or excuse me, 1978 until his death in 1980, confirmed in his book, The Last Days of John Lennon, in 1991, that John was on a strict microbiotic vegetarian regime that, during that period of time. 
And this consisted of brown rice, vegetables, trail mixes, and so forth, and no sugar. However, it is pointed out that despite the health kick, he loved orange marmalade and was addicted to cigarettes and was still a frequent drug user. So John had become preoccupied with his weight and obsessed about his diet. Once a robust man tending toward overweight, he was now so thin that his face looked hollow and sunken in, even though it was concealed by a full beard. And standing at 5 feet 10, he weighed less than 140 pounds. So that is all the information that I could gather up, but it appears that John went through stages in his life, as we all do, and he had some issues with food. And when he became famous and had money, it was hard to turn away temptations that he found from food. Later, John put himself on diets and was able to maintain the weight that he wanted to be at. So I hope everybody uh, liked the video, and if you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you could, that would be great. Uh, so tune in again soon for another episode of The Beatles Forever. Thank you. Bye.